Welcome to another episode of Making a Keto, and today we're going to be making a super cheesy seafood bacon mac and cheese. Man, y'all gonna love this one here. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we're going to start off by chopping and cooking down some bacon. And then we're going to use some of that bacon grease to coat the pan in to start the macaroni. All right, guys, I'll also be linking everything in the description box below, just in case you didn't know and you're new to the channel. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add in the heavy cream. And also we're going to go ahead and add in our cream cheese. Now, guys, you can make this a little easier by having your cream cheese at room temperature, which I didn't. But um, that's just a tip to help help out with melting the cheese. Have it at room temperature and it'll melt a lot quicker. Right, here's the fun part. We're gonna start adding in cheeses of choices. Guys, I chose Colby Jack and um, I also chose some um, hard Parmesan cheese, but you can use whatever cheese you want. It is totally up to you. All right, guys, after that's melted down, we're gonna go ahead and add in some paprika and um, just some regular pepper and salt. Kind of season it to your taste. If you want to add something, you can add it right now, um, or you can just stick with what I use. It's completely up to you. But uh, once you got your seasonings in, we want to go ahead and mix and get everything mixed together. All right, guys. So now for our pasta substitute, because everybody know that we can't have pasta on the keto diet, we will be using this cauliflower um, from uh, Walmart. It's already broken down into its florets, so it's it almost the, it almost is the perfect size for um, the noodle replacement for this um, dish. So um, if you got this at your Walmart or if you can find it, I highly suggest it. But if not, you might have to buy a whole head and then just cut it down. All right, after adding the cauliflower, we're gonna go ahead and mix it up well. Get the cheese incorporated over all of the cauliflower. Make sure to leave your stove maybe on medium because you don't want to overcook or burn any of the cheese that we already had in there from the beginning. So just keep an eye on that. All right, moving on. Now we're about to start turning this thing up. We're gonna go ahead and add in our bacon that we cooked at the beginning. Let's go ahead and get that well incorporated into the dish. the next level we go ahead and add in that crab meat now guys this i'm calling this a seafood mac and cheese or cauliflower mac and cheese but um you can add any seafood you want into it i just choose crab you can you can do whatever you want i mean if you want to put fish in it you can it's completely up to you um this is just my version you guys can kind of build off of it okay guys once we have everything mixed together we're going to go ahead and flatten it out like a traditional mac and cheese what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and add in our cheeses. So you can add in whatever cheese that you want on top. I'm going with uh, a Mexican style mixed cheese, but you can use whatever cheese you want. If you want to use just straight mild, you can just use straight mild. It'd be totally up to you. All right, now that we have all our cheese on, we want to go ahead and set this in the oven on, on high broil for about five to 10 minutes until the cheese is golden brown. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and garnish the top with some parsley, some salt and pepper, and a little bit of paprika. And when it was out of the oven, this is what it looked like. y'all seeing in the video that's that's my keto crusted salmon i'll link that in the card up above i'll see y'all in the next one peace